This is a pure CSS pen that caught my attention recently, and the way it's done is with one element with a linear gradient, two pseudo elements with radial gradients, and the dimensions of these pseudo elements get animated. What I'm going to do is a version with CSS custom properties, a version that only animates the transform property for better performance, and also uses viewport units uh, in order to make everything scale nicely. So 65 viewport minimum units. This is going to be the diameter of the big circle. So we're going to set this as the width. And the height is going to be the exact same thing. So this is going to be the height. Uh, now the next thing that we're going to do is set a background. This is going to be a linear gradient. And this is going to go from uh, black, 50% at the middle. And white zero so that we have a sharp transition in between the two colors next thing let's set a border radius and this is going to be 50 percent and we're going to set the exact same border radius on the pseudo elements so uh before and after we're going to set this border radius we're also going to set a content that's going to be nothing and the next thing that we're going to do is set a position and this is going to be absolute. Um, in order for this to work, we need to set position relative here. So, relative. Okay, now the next thing, let's set, let's set uh, the offsets. Now, as you can see, uh, these two uh, pseudo elements will be these two uh, smaller circles here. They will be half the bigger circle. So, this means that if we want them in the middle, we're going to have 25% from the top and 25% from the bottom. So that's going to be our uh, top 25% and bottom 25%. Now, the first one is going to be left 0, second one is going to be left 50%. In order to unify this, we're going to uh, write this in the following way. We're going to use a calc and a switch. So this switch is going to be a uh, zero, and this will write as calc, and we're going to multiply this i with 50%. Now for the right, it's going to be pretty similar, except we're going to have one minus i multiplied with 50%. So this is going to be one minus i. Okay, now the next thing that we're going to do is set a border. Now, as you can see here, this part is going to be our border, and it's a third of uh, the dimension, the diameter of this small circle, which means a sixth of the big circle. So, uh, when we set the border, this is going to be a uh, solid, uh, the big diameter over six. And we're going to use an HSL value which is going to be zero hue, zero saturation, it doesn't matter. And then we're going to use a calc for luminosity. And this is going to be pretty much the same, only it's multiplied with uh, 100. Okay, so um, this should work. And uh, it doesn't because I have... This should be right, not left. Okay. Now it works, and if we switch this i for the after, so we have i is 1. Okay, now let's set a background, and this is going to be very similar to the border color. So we set the same HSL volume, except here we're going to have 1 minus i. Now, we're going to want to scale these. So, the first one we want to scale with respect to this point on the left, and the second one with respect to this point on the right. So, uh, what we're going to use is uh, this value here. So, it's going to be a uh, transform origin, this value, and 50%. Now, we're going to set a scale factor and an animation duration. So the scale factor is going to be, uh, let's say, 0 0.5, can be anything from 0 to 1. And the animation duration, let's say, 1 second. 
Uh, now let's set the translate, um, the transform, sorry, transform uh, scale, the scale factor, and we're going to take this and um, put it inside a keyframe animation. Actually, we're going to um, write two keyframe animations. So, uh, keyframes s uh, to this transform, and we can uh, take this and paste it here, and we're going to have a rotation. Rotate minus one turn. And here it's going to be uh, 2 minus F. And it's going to be 2 because the big circle is uh, twice the smaller circle. Okay, now let's uh, set this animation. It's going to be S, um, T, and um, it's going to be infinite and alternate. And we're also going to set a rotation here. Um, rotation R. And let's make the duration longer. And let's change the easing function to an easing out. And also set a delay here that uh, depends on um, our um, on our eye switch. So. Um, this is going to be um, minus our duration, which we need to interpolate. Okay, uh, minus. Okay, uh, the next thing, let's make the body full height. So, um, this is going to be... And let's also set overflow hidden. So that we get rid of the scroll bar. And this is it. We have this nice animation. Um, one more thing here. Let's make it this uh, linear. Okay, this looks better. Now we have uh, our animation. And the whole thing scales nicely. So this is it for today. If you have any other ideas, drop them in the comments or send them on Twitter. And until next time.